I want to get to our senior foreign correspondent, Ian Panel, with us live on the ground in Kabul, where he has been for many days now. And Ian, I want to get right to something the president was pressed on there uh, from our own Stephanie Ramos, who was there at the White House. She asked about uh, Americans and Afghans who are uh, in Kabul and beyond who are trying to uh, get to that airport. But as you have reported for many nights on World News Tonight, the Taliban controls the checkpoint, the Taliban and convoys around that country. How do you get those families to the airport? The president said he has no intelligence that Americans have been unable to get there. Uh, the question, obviously, does that square with reporting on the ground? I mean, just totally not. Uh, I mean, the reaction was, was pretty much one of, of, I mean, it was breathtaking. No indication Americans can't get to the airport. I mean, last night on World News, we had American citizens who had exactly that experience. They tried to get to the airport. They had waived their American passports. The president talked about all they had to do was present their passports and they'd be allowed through. They were beaten by the Taliban uh, with uh, the rubber fan belt from a vehicle. Uh, multiple examples of Americans and Afghans, SIV applicants, who have now tried repeatedly. There's one woman we're tracking. She's back at the airport tonight. This is her third night in the row. The gates haven't opened. The Taliban haven't let her through. Uh, it, it just seems the reality and the rhetoric are miles apart. Uh, I'm not quite sure what, what advice the president's receiving. But the truth on the ground is that, that these people who are in fear of their lives can't get through. 